I think one of the things that we struggle with is qualifying a customer and then giving them the right amount of attention, but not too much. Like what drives me nuts is when I see in our inbox, us going back and forth with a customer, like 30 threads deep and it's a 13 piece order. Exactly. And I'm just like, we just wasted three hours of our time to sell 13 shirts. Like, yeah. and, and it's interesting, like your employees, I don't know if you see this, but my employees will get hung up on the smallest orders and sometimes not qualify the correct ones. Do you spend a lot of time like qualifying or is that, is that something you do is like, is it like, do you guys have a, is it worth it meter? Like, is this someone we want or Pretty not? Pretty much. And yeah. And it's, it's more of a judgment call at this point, but that's where we've been trying to really like up our minimums and set standards. Cause exactly like you said, you spend hours going back and forth with this person at the end of the day, it's a pain in the butt, 20 piece order. Mm-hmm. So we're just really trying to kind of see what the potential is of that customer first. And then we decide how much we pour into them. Wow. Bruce, you guys. Um, that said though, real quick, obviously, obviously we want to treat everybody well. So whether you're buying 30 shirts or 10,000 shirts, we're going to treat you the same. We're going to give you same stellar service. However, you know, a high end customer is obviously going to going to um, deserve that phone call or whatever it is. To Bruce, how, how do you guys do it at Printavo? Because you have customers that are on starter plan, you know, mm-hmm. that are, you know, probably not breaking. You know, they might even be lost. It's it's to be honest, it's a not it's not a profitable plan. I mean, it's forty nine bucks a month, but I think for. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's a separate thing. But so how, how but, do you like how do you still give them the same amount of love and support than the customer's paying four or $500 a month on premium with everything. Like do your team actually have to like stop themselves and say, ah, we have to give them the self help or do you guys usually just like answer everyone's questions? How does that work? Our, our flow is there's in what's called an SDR that basically tries to qualify them to make sure that they are actually interested in what we have to offer and after somebody fills out a contact form, then they go through that. If they're like, okay, this is a screen printing or apparel first decoration shop, cool. If you're not apparel first and you're a sign first, for example, or um, engraving first or something, this is not the product for you. And we will be like, you, we'll show you a demo, but if not, then you know, um, just, just as a heads up, it's probably not going to work out. Um, hmm. then, um, and we've turned out a lot of business we, that we used to take, but because it confused the rest of the flow, the process, the product, the support team, like all this other stuff. And so the short term hit gave us, I think a long-term focus that really helped niche us more. Um, but after that support wise, we, we actually don't distinguish. Now, the success team obviously isn't going to want to um, do a deep dive into somebody's zaps or something for two hours for somebody paying $50 a month. But uh, we try to distinguish that out by, um, um, by segmenting the plans, though. So it's a little bit different, right? Because on that, that plan, you don't get some of the advanced functionality that would require the advanced help. As if like, hey, for this dollar spend, you don't get all the complexities in in, like it's you're buying a package. And actually, there was that one shop that kind of exemplified this where they had that Shopify store is somewhere in California, actually, too. But they um, like big graphics or you remember that one where they you you bought packages Package. On the Shopify store that got rid of all the low end type of customers, like 25, two color, you know, is X dollars. And they kept directing them to the website just to buy it. And then that way the money was collected and then they managed it throughout. That's kind of how ours filters. But again, it's a grain of salt. It's different business as in yeah. software. No, it's interesting because when we used to go to the trade shows, we would take anyone that would come our way, Bruce, it'd be like, you're a vehicle yes. wrap. You're a laser engraver. You're Anything. A whatever. Anything. Yeah. And, when you, when and, you're starting, when you're young, but it's just, it adds, I think like we're a team of almost, we're 28, 29. And it's just, it, it's hard because the product has to be really good for one or it's half-assed for everything. And then it's the support team has to be trained really well for one or half-assed again for everything. The sales team has to speak the language correctly. 
Like it really dribbles down to all these areas and it was so difficult. We just didn't have the resources to be able to correctly handle that. 